Roll for Crit presents How to Play Auto Farmer in 5 Minutes or Less or More. Auto Farmer is the competitive game of cannabis growth and care. Designed by David Konar and Slavomir Krabilla, illustrated by Honza Grumel, and published by Free Folk Industry. Your goal in Auto Farmer is to grow more grams of cannabis than any other player after three rounds. Everyone begins by preparing their gardens. To do so, roll a pair of dice and note the total result by adding the two numbers together. Then, roll the dice again and note the second result. The higher of the two results is how many seed cards you now draw. The lower number result is how many of those seed cards you flip over to show their plant side face up. Each plant starts with the potential to grow 40 grams, as indicated in the top left corner. Once all players have their gardens ready, the game begins. The game takes place over three rounds. First growth, then blooming, and finally harvest, each represented by a round card. Each round plays out in the same way, but certain cards can only be played in certain rounds, so be mindful of that. At the start of your turn, you'll draw three cards from the main deck to your hand. If you don't like any of the cards you drew, you can discard one, two, or all of them in exchange for new ones from the deck. However, you can only exchange cards once, then you have to accept the hand you were dealt. Once you have your three cards, you can start playing them. To play a card, read its instructions and apply its effects. Some cards have more than one effect separated by a line, in which case you must choose only one to be carried out. Symbols at the top of the card will indicate how the card should be played. This symbol means that the card is discarded immediately after its effect is applied. This symbol means that the card is placed on top of a plant in a player's garden. Each plant can only hold one card. The skull means that this is a disease card. In addition to any effects that they may have, these will have negative consequences at the end of the player's turn whose garden they're in. Again, look at the bottom of the card to see which rounds a card can or cannot be played in. Common card effects include letting you grow your seeds into plants and increasing or decreasing the gram value of a plant using these plus or minus cards. Unless otherwise specified, you cannot use a card to harm your own garden or to benefit an opponent's. You don't have to play all or any of your cards during your turn. If you'd like, you can keep them in hand for next time. There is no hand limit. When you've finished playing cards, you'll need to check your garden for diseases. If there are any disease cards on your plants, they will now spread according to the card's instructions. If there are multiple disease cards, they spread in order from most stars to fewest stars. After the disease step, your turn ends and the next player goes in clockwise order. When all players have taken a turn, a new round begins and the current round card changes. After the end of the third round, the game ends and scores are counted. Only healthy plants count towards your score. Any plant with a disease card on it is worth zero grams. The rest get added up according to their final values, plus any prematurely harvested plants you might have as the result of a card. If you have any plants with a mail card, then the entire value of your garden gets cut in half. Having multiple mail cards won't worsen the effect, you'll still just cut your score in half. Mark down your final score, then continue playing a new game. Play a number of games equal to the number of players, and add up your scores from each game to get your final total. Whoever has the most grams wins. As an alternate mode of play, you can instead continue until one player is able to hit a total of 500 grams. You can also add in the Strains expansion, which adds new plant types with new features, varying starting values, feminine plants that can't be affected by the mail card, auto flowers that are harvested early, long flowering plants that can't be harvested until the game is over, and even disease resistant plants. You'll also get a bonus for harvesting plants of the same name at the same time. In conclusion, cultivate, grow, infect, harvest, that's Auto Farmer in a nutshell. Did you get all that?